Hello everyone, I've got a really important and cool update to the AI automated receipt capture. We did this training just last Tuesday and after some feedback, I've got some really cool updates ready for you because there's also some important fixes and changes. So I wanted to bring them to your attention and get them right to you. In the original training it was so cool because we were able to drag just about any type of receipt into a folder and get the date, vendor, amount, and category. If you did not catch the original training, I'll include the link down below. Make sure you do. There was a few issues, small hangups, and a few hiccups. I wanted to clear all that up inside this updated training for you. So this is a little bit of extra something that I wanted to create for you. So inside the original training, what we did is we created a scenario using make and it was really cool and it used the AI agents. But one mistake that I made, I didn't realize that the AI agents was only available on a paid tier. And we've got a great solution. It's going to be very easy to implement for any type of tier, including the free. So we're going to do that. And I just want to show you how you can do that even on the free tier, because that's exactly what I promised. And I want to make sure to deliver it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that original scenario, which is the AI receipt data. So I'm going to go into this one. And this is where we left off. We created this scenario. It worked really good. And it was using the new feature with this make AI agents. However, this feature apparently is only available for a paid tier. So we don't want that. We want to be able to use it for absolutely free. And of course we can do just that. So here's how we're going to do that. First thing what we want to do is we don't necessarily need to use this agent. So I'm just going to right click here and I'm going to delete that module and I'm going to delete it anyway. So it's okay. We're going to update that and I'm going to add in a brand new one. So I'm going to click add and I'm going to search for Grok. G-R-O-Q. And if you remember correctly, that is the LLM that we used in the original training. So what we want to do here is we've got several options here and we're just going to create a chat completion. So model response given a chat conversation. So that's exactly what we want. And then what I want to do is I want to put that right in the middle and that's going to replace our assistant. It's going to act exactly as the same as our agent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select on here now. And in the original training, we did create a connection with Grok. So you will already have that. So you can add it here, which will create it and it'll allow you to put in the API key, but you probably already have this. And now what we want to do is we want to select a model. Now, another issue that a few of you had, it said, well, I think we were using the instant model. Now this was pretty good, but it did have a limit of 6,000 tokens per minute. You can try with some other models. So we can also use the versatile or we can use the guards. You can test out different models so you don't run out of tokens. Another issue that some people had is it was stopping them to do that. So we're going to select on the model. I'm going to just use the instant because it's a little bit faster. Now what I want to know is let's set the max tokens to 3,500 or whatever, 6,000. We can set it to 5,500. That's fine. And we can also leave it blank. What we want to do is we need to add instructions. So I'm going to click add item here and that's going to be important. Now the role is the user. As a user, we're giving it some instructions. So our role is the user. We want to give it the content. Now the content's going to be exactly the same. And I've got that saved right here. And we're, instead of the make AI agent, we're going to look right here. Here's the instructions here. So what I want to do is I just want to copy these same exact instructions, starting with please extract and go all the way down to here where it says JSON object. And I'm gonna copy all of that, just like we did in the original training. And I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna place the content right in here. However, what we need to do is those are the instructions, but we need to do a little bit more. We need to add in the actual data. So just like we did in the original training, that data is going to come directly from the HTTP. So the data, this is the parse results, I'm gonna click that. So we need to give it all the instructions and the data and here the tokens return and i'm going to click save so we have all of that so we've got the growth data we're using instant you can, you can experiment with different models it's no problem and we've got the user we've got the content we've got the data and we've got the max token this worked with a left mp2 as well so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into json we might have to redo our work so notice the old response is not going to work so i'm going to delete that and i'm going to look at the result now this notice that we haven't really run anything so there's no data in here so this might not really help 
help us. We may have to redo it once we send some data to it, but that's okay. Our results gonna come from here and we're gonna click save and I'll just run this once. And now what we do is we're gonna run this once. If we have receipts in the folder, the process, if we don't, we can add it in. So notice that I don't have any receipts in my folder now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this. Let's say I'll add this receipt right in, in the folder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click run once, one more, and I'm just gonna let it process. And it'll probably stop me at this point with an error, but that's okay, we've populated the data. It didn't, it looked like it went all the way through. Let's take a look at this. So the result was good. So this is our result, this is our input. So our input, what went into Grok is looking pretty good. So we've got all of this content, right? So this comes from our PDF parser and everything. It's all that content. So that's what went into Grok. What came out of Grok? So what came out, the result is this pretty much exactly the way we want it. So that looks pretty good. And we're using Llama 8 Instant, it's nice and fast. And we're gonna look in our parser, we didn't have to adjust, the result was correct. But notice that if for some reason it didn't get what you wanted, you might have to drag it up here. So the result is the, all of this information exactly as we want it. Pretty good, right? It looked quite good. And then of course it came directly into Excel and we can take a look at the Excel file here. I'm gonna pull that up and I'll pull in the data and it came right in here. So I wish I would have used this originally, but I was so excited with this uh, new feature, the AI agents, I just wanted to use it, but uh, it's really not necessary. We got grow. And this is such a good feature. Remember, why don't you experiment with all these different models? This is the free tier. So we have a lot of cool, so if you're running out of tokens, you can try these and these. So there's some pretty good free options. Now, if you're on the developer tier, which is the paid, then you've got much more limits here. But the free tier works good, so you can experiment with that. And it's a great solution. I probably wish I would have done it before. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. There's no updated download on this because it's just some instructions. So I wanted to bring it to you and help you with that. I will be creating another update, of course, for our Patreon members. We'll be doing archive folders. I had a great suggestion to create folders based on the vendors. So you notice that we have the vendors in here. Let's pull this up here. So we have vendors. What if when we want to archive those receipts, it goes into individual folders based on the vendor? Now that would be pretty cool. I'm going to try to bring that on the Patreon update. So make sure you do get on the Patreon update. If you have any ideas or feedback, please let me know. I'll be recording it probably tomorrow or the next day, and it'll be out the following Monday. So thank you so much i'm glad to bring it thank of course for your feedback once again if you have issues or problems i wanted to jump on and fix that right away because i promised free and then and this wasn't free but now it is free so thank you again so much i appreciate it if you have any questions or feedback let me know see you next time